pray for us because yep. it's it's, it's going to be a bitter day. Ooh, ain't like a bitter bit of uh, women. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, mm, you got to be your stingy with them uh, rodents, patootie. Yeah, 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 <sighs> yeah. It's on, it's on. So, uh, but anyway, uh, the Lord got me out of that. I went downstairs and he was. How gone. did he bring you up? The Lord, he was gone. I went downstairs to to face him, <clears throat> and he had walked. He had just. You walked know away. you can't fight, Craig. Right, right Craig. You know you. Can't. <laughs> he was gone. The woman said, "I'm about to call the cops on his brother." She says, "But you know, I wanted to see. You know, I was trying to get do do." Be courteous and call you, let you know. I said, Your well, life I, is on the said, line. I said, I Man, think you should have gave up big tip. I said, Right. right. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I did. That's she what could have been. Oh, I did. That room may go to waste. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? On that note, I got to get to a break. This is, or this was, the Sir Walter Jones show. and R&B for the past 30 years. Check out our sister station, UBM Jam, by selecting it at our homepage at urbanbroadcastmedia.com. The following show is paid programming and does not necessarily express the views and opinions of Urban Broadcast Media and its subsidiaries. Thank you for listening to UBM Praise. Ladies, what do you want to know? How bad do you want to know it? What do you want to do to find out? Tune in to the Men's Chronicles. Right here at the Sir Walter Jones Show at ABM Praise. Politics, doctrine, current events. Let's meet at the controversy corner on the Sir Walter Jones Show here on UBM Praise. Due to some violent content, parental discretion is advised. This is Keep It Real Carter here at that intersection of controversy and jealousy. Well, the question is, are we more jealous? The answer is yes and no. Yes, we can become more enraged in our expression of jealousy. But no, we're not as jealous as a woman. Why? Because a man don't get jealous about time and attention unless that time and attention is taken away from him when he wants it. Mm. And you know what we want with time from y'all? Food, fun, and well, um, yeah. That's about it. Uh huh. <laughs> and a time with the football game. Want to watch football? Food, fun, and football. That's what we want. Football. Yes, except for Bears. Yeah, no, no. Go Blackhawks. Yes. Okay. The truth of the matter is this. We just read Proverbs 63, 6 and 34, and it says, when a man's rage gets a hold of him, and I'm paraphrasing it, ain't nothing going to stop him. And what sends him off? What makes a man enraged? Not losing his job. Not even losing his money. Not even his car. You know he loves his car. But when he finds out that his woman, his righteous woman, or his woman that he has a right to, has allowed another man to invade his territory. He loses his mind. He goes crazy. Now, yes, you may say, why does he have to react that way? Well, the truth of the matter is this. We may have two heads, but we only got half a brain. <laughs> why? Because that experience you can never return. You can't give it back. No money will replace it. No gifts, so keep the more cheap ties y'all like to buy for making up. No cars. And no makeup sex either. Because he thinks it's all stretched out of shape by now. Oh, no. Can't nothing fix it. Usually when a man finds you out, he leaves. Unless he has the love of God. And there are some men that have the love of God. So what are you saying, Carter? Jealousy is powerful 
It produces an uncontrollable rage. But the love of God can calm even that savage beast. And with that being said, think twice before you react to jealousy. That's right. Controversial Corner, right here. You're being praised. So Walter Jones show every day from 4 to 6 Central. We talk about them, them things. We talk about things. Just things in general. We just talk about it. And uh, Controversial Corner is based around the subject of the day. Today we're talking about jealousy. Are men more jealous than women? And as you can see by the, some of the answers we've got here, uh, yes or no. <laughs> We're jealous in different ways. I think men are jealous sexually, physically. Women are jealous emotionally. They, are, they have an emotional attachment to a situation, to their men, and to the world. And they operate through that, that inner thing that's going on that God, only God put in, them, put in her. Men are emotional as well as women. We're just not, as, we just don't show our emotion the same way. And I think women have not figured that out. So they try to find the emotional button to push with us. And sometimes it turns out the wrong way because they don't understand. They think we're not. But if you follow a man to the car lot for to get a new car, follow him to the Bulls game, you know, you follow you follow him to the strip joint. <laughs> I ain't going there. <laughs> Not anymore. Never. Okay. Well, follow him. I'm too cheap, remember? Right, right. Well, they got peep shows. <laughs> like, they cost over a dollar. <laughs> <nine. laughs> man, you follow him there, and you find out how emotional a man is. You listen to his music. Listen to the love songs that he has written. He's very emotional. Yes. Absolutely emotional. And he shows his emotion when um, it appears to me, uh, when we did a show on why men can't commit or something like that. Yes. We haven't done one. We really haven't done one on why, why men cheat. Okay, which which coincide in there. They're all kind of synonymous. Yes. Uh, but uh, if you notice that there's some men who appears that he had a woman who was beautiful to you in the eyes of you. And then he 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 he's cheating on her with another woman who's less attractive than that beautiful queen. There's a reason for that. There is a reason for that. OK. Yes. Tell me that ugly woman. Is sexual. Mm hmm. But because but the beautiful woman at home. Yes. Is meeting a whole other set of dimensions. Yep. That's right. Right. <coughs> one's meeting a need and the other one's meeting the want. Yes. Yeah. Well, they're both needs for me. And I, mm -hmm. I I think that sometimes Robin, the comedian Robin Harris said it best. He says, if you want a good time, get you an ugly woman. He's right. Because <laughs> they may not know when the next time they get it. That's so they true. appreciate it. That, that is true. Pretty women feel like they're doing you a favor. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah, and then not to say that we, you know, we we talk in carnal this we way, you the way men think. because that's the way men think. And and I don't know, not one preacher that I've talked to yet who didn't say he wanted the freak from the street, but he also wanted that holy woman in the in the house. Well, as well. image means something for men too. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Men, image means something, and a woman that mm -hmm. can't take care of her own self image mm -hmm. won't do nothing for mine. And that's true. Yes, yes. And it, and it, and some women in the church felt like they were being prostituted by their husbands at home because he wanted her to do moves that he he has desired for a long time. Yes, and they felt like it was unholy because was they had been trained that women yeah, don't act this way. Exactly, exactly. And so what he, you know, and so he, you know, one of the one of the one of the most shocking uh, sermons that I heard, well, teachings that was when I was in church and my my uncle at the time, John Apple Jones. Uh, was teaching on sexuality Ooh. Uh, with the with the husbands and the wives, and we were there. <coughs> and uh, he talked about oral sex. Oh and, no! Yeah, yeah, yuck! Yeah, he, <laughs> how dare you? Yeah, right, right. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, I yeah. Hairball. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm telling you, D. I, I need you to keep your your hands on that button for this boy. Um, what? I said yuck. <laughs> yeah. So. <laughs> He was talking about, you know, the bed being undefiled and, and, and your body don't belong to you, it belongs to him and he and, and vice versa and all that. And and that's exactly the response that you were hearing from grown people. Oh, oh yeah. yuck. Yes. Oh no, no, no. And the he devil was like, is a lie. He's like, That's why y'all can't stay together, number one. Uh and number two, uh that's why if you're together, you're together by by uh force or because you got children or because you don't want to be embarrassed. But your sex life is horrible. horrible. Yes. And it doesn't. And was that flatulence? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Or was air in that? No. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? 
I, he's going upstairs next week. I'm telling you, he going upstairs. Um, so it is, it, 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 it belittles some women in, in, in the holiness community. Well, when he does these things to my body, I don't. Now he should not force himself to do those not things. Not should be forced. It should not be forced. No, 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 no. I think that's abuse. The, and they that's should talk to rape to me. Oh, it is. But they should talk these things out instead Prior of saying to. swing on this. That curtain. should be a component in the premarital counseling. It should. It should. Because whenever I've done it, my first question is, mm-hmm. <laughs> right? I know. I understand. How are how liberal are you when how it comes liberal. to sex? Yes. That because needs that's to be talked, to be about. talked about. Yeah, now. don't wait to get married and talk about it. Uh, Papa Bynum, before, as a young man, he told me, he said, "Son, you need to know yourself." Yeah, yeah you know what I'm saying. Well, they do this, but think if it's coming in your mind, mm-hmm. don't be ashamed to discuss it and talk yeah. about it. Yeah, yeah. Because if you ain't gonna get it at home, you are gonna go look for it sooner or later. He's right. He's right. If you agree or disagree, you better call us quickly seven seven three six seven five five nine zero six seven seven three six seven five five nine zero six, and I could. Uh, you know, I could, uh, we could come up with a theme song for the phone number. Old Taste and See. <laughs> Old Taste. <laughs> <laughs> Joshua Randolph. Turn to David and say, neighbor, I used to hate it. <laughs> Till I hate it. <laughs> Joshua Randolph. This will be a great show topic. He says, bruised but not broken. Yes. How I move from pain to power to purpose. What do y'all think? Joshua was on our show last week. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. He came on the Monday, last Monday night. Okay. Yeah, he gave that wonderful testimony about how he was in jail. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I enjoyed it so much. Y'all go on Spreaker dot com and hear that show from last Monday. Doctor Joshua Randolph, wonderful ministry, ministry out there in Canada. <laughs> blame Canada. Yeah, blame hey, Canada. <laughs> yeah. Um. <clears throat> so let's let's get back to this here. Oh, uh, where's where's my what be my notes? Okay, right here. How to handle a jealous guy? Number one, recognize it is a problem. The both of you have to recognize it is a problem. I think the I think one of the major problems is we are one sided in relationships. Okay, yeah, because we, uh I see you have a problem. But I don't address to you that I that I want you to know that I know that you have a problem. Okay, and we don't do that, so we don't talk about it. And herein lies another problem. Number two, make a commitment uh, for him that he generally wants to change his behavior and will work at it with your help. Then you uh, that you won't change your behavior to accommodate his. Never stop doing things to keep your partner happy. He'll just find other things to get jealous about. And that is the nature of the beast. We always find something else. Tit for tat. I know what you're saying, but, you know, that's just us. Number three, look for the reasons for the jealousy. Why is he, why is he being jealous? Uh, it always comes down to an insecure uh, about one, one thing or another. Perhaps his self-esteem needs building up. He may not feel uh, at heart that he is lovable. And his jealousy may be a way of testing this. You need to talk about, you know, about how the jealousy manifests itself. Discuss how you'll deal with it when it happens again. Number four, work out a jealousy code. This is a sign, the jealousy code. Either a word or gesture agreed on and known only to you both that either of you can use when jealousy is becoming a problem. It acts like a sort of a timeout in difficult situations and signals for you to help each other out. So that's number four. Work out jealousy or a, some type of jealousy code. You know, uh, either rub your nose Take your ear and do like Bewitch did, <laughs> <laughs> or slap him in the face. Oh yeah, you, you do that all the time. Yeah. yeah. Number five, don't pamper him. Changing your behavior to try and avoid jealousy is an example of pampering and never and cures you guilt. Too. Yeah, of course, it never cures the problem. What does uh, what does is in, uh, encouraging him 
that he's doing well and trying to deal with it and that you recognize how difficult it is for him. 